uh, it's not just in the Labour Party, we see in America. Um, again, partly through um, the use of Israel as a kind of template for this anti-Jewish activity, you see um, some of the uh, new Congresswomen, uh, Democratic Congresswomen, coming out with anti-Israel statements of the kind that I've just suggested, which are irrational and bigoted and obsessional and invert the truth, associated with, in their own language, uh, stuff about uh, Jewish money buying uh, political power and safeguarding Israel. And the Democratic Party, like the Labour Party, is paralysed by this. Why? Because it kind of supports the discourse about Zionism and Israel that lends itself to all this, and in my view is a form of anti-Semitism. Again, I, 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 I emphasize, many people who support this discourse, who come out with it about Israel, are not, I would call, I would say they're not anti-Semites. Some of them are, some of them are, some of them really hate Jews. But some of them, a lot of them are people who just, they know nothing about Jewish history, the Jewish people, the Jewish religion, they know nothing about the Middle East. All they hear is what the BBC tells them, or what they read in the newspapers, all of which is lies, because all of it is fed from the Middle East by basically Arab stringers, Arab, in, uh, Arab influenced uh, um, uh, news agency coverage. It all seeps in. And people like me, who actually speak the truth about Israel and the Middle East, are not given platforms in Britain in which I can, or anybody else, can say these things. So people don't know. They have no idea that the Jews are the only people for whom Israel was ever their national kingdom. They have no idea the Jews are the only indigenous people around uh, of the land of Israel. They haven't got a clue who you say to them. They don't believe you because they have been literally brainwashed by all this propaganda. Does that make them anti-Semites? Well, some of them are, but a lot of them are just ignorant. So the discourse is anti-Semitic. Anti it has been so much accepted as the default position in progressive circles. You know, the Palestinian Arabs are the poster children for any progressive. Um, you support pal the support of Palestine as an issue, what I would call Palestinianism, is the, the sine qua non of being a progressive. But if you support the Palestinian issue, then you are supporting stuff which many of them don't even know about which is what pours out of, forget the Hamas, forget the Hamas, the Palestinian Authority, the so-called moderates led by Mahmoud Abbas, what pours out of that is the most disgusting Nazi-style demonization of Jews, not just Israelis, Jews, all the time. That's what all progressives are supporting when they support the Palestine cause. So if you're supporting in Palestine, in the, in the Palestine cause, if you're supporting people there who are denying the Holocaust, Mahmoud Abbas has a doctorate in Holocaust denial. If you're supporting people who say the Jews, who write the Jews out of their own history, they say the Jews were never in the land of Israel, they're writing the Jews out of their own history, you're supporting those people who are denying Judaism itself, you're supporting people who talk about Jewish money controlling the world, who talk about killing every Jew. Is it then so surprising if you're a left-wing person supporting that in the Palestinian cause? Is it so surprising that you're saying in terms of Britain and America, the Jews are controlling through their money politics and uh, turning, uh, corrupting everything in their own interests? Why is everyone so surprised? The two are absolutely connected. They are not just connected, they are the same thing. So that's what we're living through. We're living through an epidemic anti-Semitism, some of which is camouflaged likely as anti-Zionism or anti-Israelism, epidemic anti-Semitism and epidemic anti-Semitism denial, because people have it in their minds that anti-Semitism Where's Jack Boots? And we got rid of that, didn't we? And so that's why we are where we are. I would say one final thing. People think anti-Semitism is about the Jews. It is, and it's much more than that. Because the signature thing about anti-Semitism, which distinguishes it from all other bigotries, is that it is a form of derangement. 
It is mad. It is paranoid. It is unhinged. It is obsessional. It is simply deranged. Now, a society which allows itself to become deranged over one issue is a society which has lost the plot when it comes to rationality, evidence in general. And that's what it's no coincidence. We've been talking about the loss of reason in the West, the fact that evidence goes nowhere, insults being as, has largely replaced argument. Um, people believe in irrational things. They believe in conspiratorial things. And here you have epidemic anti-Semitism. It is not a coincidence. It is often said, you know, uh, uh, anti-Semitism, or it is often said the Jews are the canary in the mine. I'm not quite sure what the relevant analogy is, but anti-Semitism, where anti-Semitism is, is out of control, the society is, has got a death wish. Society is destroying itself. Anti-Semitism anti has always been present, always will be present. But in a society which is healthy, it's kept right under the rug. It's kept under control. It's regarded with derision and disdain. It's stigmatized. It's kept down. That's a healthy society. That's a society that wants to live. A society which has turned on itself, which has turned against reason itself, which has turned against decency, is a society where anti-Semitism roars out unchecked. And that's what we have. And that's one of the most, one of the single most alarming things, I think, about Western society at the moment, that the anti-Semitism that is being in, that is engulfing these societies doesn't isn't just in itself despicable and awful and dangerous and horrible it's a signal that this society is going over the cliff uh, it's destroying itself um, and until or unless that is understood um, neither anti-semitism nor going over the cliff are going to be stopped